How to sidechain kicks and 808s in Logic Pro X. 808 kick or an 808 baseline or whatever, um, it doesn't matter uh, whether it's 808s or not, you can sidechain anything. What does sidechaining actually mean? You can think of it like when the kick is happening in the track, you're ducking all the other sound so the kick has more space to shine through. When that kick comes into the music, there's like a V that happens with all the other music coming around it, so there's more space. I'm gonna visually show you exactly what I mean right now. This is a track I'm working on in Logic right now where I'm using a lot of side chaining for my kick with all these bass lines here. So these kind of purpley blue bass lines are all side chaining with this drum kit up here. This is what that sounds like. To make things simple, let's focus just on this main bass one track. How we want to start is to create a bus track on our drum track. So we go to our drum track here and we go down to this section and create an empty bus. So this is an empty bus, bus 12. And down at the bottom here, we're going to say side chain track. We're going to want to add a compressor. So I like to use the Fab Filter Pro C2 compressor because it's visual and it, you really can see what is happening. And that's why I'm gonna use it in this video. If you have it, great. If you don't, maybe consider getting it. We'll come back and change the threshold later once we connect it to our bass track. So let's leave it there right now. Let's go back to our bass track and we're going to wanna to connect the, the two together. How we're gonna to wanna to do this is actually add another compress, compressor to our bass track. So we go bass, and then we'll go down here and add the Pro C2 compressor. If you're not using Pro C, don't worry. Um, other compressors will, the principles are the same. You, you can connect them um, in more or less the same way. With Pro C, um, down here, we click sidechain and then external. And then we'll go at the top here to sidechain and actually go to our um, bus track that we created on our drum track. So down here, we can go bus. And then we head under bus 12, right? So we click bus 12. Now the two are connected. Now we can start playing with this, the bus send and the compression to work with the side chain. That's why Pro C2 is so great because we'll be actually, actually be able to see it happening. So let's press play and we'll see the compressor work in action. So I'm gonna put my threshold down to zero just to show you what's happening. So all that was being ducked. So this is, you can see the sends of the bass track coming through here. So nothing is being crunched right now. These, these signs here are um, the bass and it's, it's, there's tremolo, so it's kind of rising and, and being ducked anyways. But we're really gonna have that, the other things ducked away so the bass can shine even more. So what we can do is really compress it by moving the threshold down and even increasing the ratio. Well, not 100 to one, because that would be insane, but maybe like six to one. Let's just see what that sounds like. You, you're gonna have to play with these dials and get the feeling for your song. Also, we're gonna play with the fast, um, sorry, the attack and the release as well. So you can see it's ducking here. I wish I could pause it just to show you that, but you can see the kick is starting to duck some of that bass, and we can even, let's just crunch it to see what that sounds like. So it's, look how much is eating out of the bass. And if you wanna go for that sound, like, go for it. Let's go back to our drum track and make sure that we're sending sends to the compressor. So we wanna make sure that we're actually sending to our compressor, which is here. And then we can go and dial in even more to compress the drums as well. To quickly recap all this, um, create a bus channel on your drum track that's bussed out to a compressor. You go to your 808 bass, your guitars, whatever you want to side chain, it doesn't matter. In our case, it's the main bass one. And then we're going to want not to create a bus, but to create a compressor on the track itself. And once we have this compressor, we connect this compressor to the bus channel we made for the drum track. That is side chaining and you can you can side chain anything in your track. So for example, all these bass tracks here are side chained to the kick. 
So that creates a huge rhythm momentum around the kick. So let me know in the comments if you have any questions. I'd be happy to help you and feel free to listen to some of my own music. I'd love to know what you think and I hope to see you in the next video.